Hi everyone, Coach John here. Last year I made a video about the Sony Xperia Pro I overheating on me frequently. I was only able to go about maybe a minute or two in video mode or the photography app mode before the camera would just start having issues, the sound quality would degrade, it would cut off some features or it would just shut off. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I don't do my videos in a jacket. <laughs> because I'm always sweating inside my room. Right now, the temperature in my room is around 26 to 27 degrees Celsius. Before this video, I had made another fitness video and that lasted for about five minutes and I didn't have any overheating issues. Not once did I have a warning or the phone shut off. So I decided to make this video. Yes, it's being filmed on the Sony Xperia Pro I and I wanna see if it's gonna overheat if I can make a longer video. So not only am I gonna test if this video will overheat in cooler temperatures, but I also want to show you guys the uh, low light capabilities of this phone. Let's say you're a beginner content creator you're looking for something that is fairly easy to use, lightweight, and you just don't want to deal with uh, a, a camera. Maybe you're interested in this phone, the Sony Xperia Pro I, and you don't have the budget for expensive lighting equipment or various reflectors. In this setup, I'm just using a regular floor, floor lamp and a disc lamp, and that's about it. And of course, a uh, overhead light, just normal stuff you would find in your residence. Here's a diagram of the lighting setup that I use in my room when I do these vlogs. You can tell by looking at the pictures that these lights aren't very fancy or expensive. And the truth is, I just don't have the budget to get those nice studio quality lights and reflectors. In the past couple years, there's been a lot of hype about the low light performance of phones. However, if you work a lot with digital cameras, especially mirrorless cameras with bigger sensors, you know that in low light, these are better to use compared to a phone. The issue with this phone and many other phones like it is, it uses a very small sensor, even though the phone manufacturers want to hype them up as being very large. If you want to use this phone for vlogging or content creation, you need to make sure that you have a lot of good lighting, like here. If not, then you're gonna to have to use artificial lighting, like the ones that I recommended that I use in order to get decent video quality from this phone. I do have this in manual mode. The ISO is set around 640 and the shutter speed is at 1 over 48. I am gonna switch it to auto mode so that you can see what it looks like using that as well. Have the vlog monitor uh, attached to it i don't own it i'm kind of doing this blind wouldn't it be great if sony added a recording light to the back of this phone just like they've done with their previous cameras uh, at least that would show that the phone is still recording if it does shut off due to overheating Still in auto mode, it's been recording for about 10 minutes. This is the longest I've recorded a video on this phone, so this is good news. And I've turned off the overhead light, so you can see once again how it performs in low light conditions on auto mode. And what I'm gonna slowly do is just turn off the light to my left here, and then of course the background lights, but I do need to keep the, <laughs> the light in my face on so you guys can see what it, what it looks like. Now the ISO is bumping up on this. It's around 1250 now. All right, you can see less light now. The ISO is at 1600. I'm amazed that this phone is keeping a consistent one over 48 shutter speed. On some other phones I've used, it, it changes the shutter speed, but this is also on a tripod, so I don't know if that has something to do with it. Here it is. Uh, it's getting darker. Let me shut off these lights and let's see how it looks. OK, 
Okay, this is at ISO 2000. Some of you are wondering, like, why are you turning off all of your lights? I've watched some videos on YouTube where they like this kind of environment, depending on the theme of their videos. As a content creator, you may want to do different types of videos in different types of environments. And that's what a content creator is. They're always trying something different or shooting in different settings or environments. Maybe you want to shoot in a bar or uh, somewhere similar where the lighting is, is limited or very low. This might give you an idea of what the settings are for this phone. I'm sorry, Sony calls it a camera <laughs> and a phone second. I apologize, Sony. All right, the last one, what I can do is I can try to let in some daylight from this window that I have by just shutting this off and then we'll see what it looks like from there. Okay, I don't know if you can see me, but right now the ISO is at 3200. The shutter speed did drop down to one over 30. I forgot to mention that the exposure levels I've kept at zero. I didn't adjust it during the auto modes. So there is a little bit of light coming through my window. And the problem my window is, is that it's, it's tinted, so it's not getting the full daylight for this video. The reason my ISO did not go beyond 3200 in this last segment is because I have it set as the limit for my high ISO in auto mode. If you go to this menu setting here with the three lines, scroll down a little bit, you're going to see an auto ISO limit for HDR and an auto ISO limit for SDR. So depending on which mode you're shooting in, you can set a limit for how high your ISO goes. If I click here, you can see that it can go all the way up to 5,000. If you are in manual mode and you go to the ISO setting here and click on it, you can see that, I'm sorry, you touch on it, I'm <laughs> thinking of a computer. You can see when you scroll all the way down that it does go above 5,000. It maxes out at 6,400. So if you feel like you need to go this high for your ISO, then you need to make sure that you are in manual mode in order to do so. I wanna try manual mode right now. I wanna see if I can get myself to appear. I changed the shutter speed back to one over 48 because I don't know if in editing, if that lower shutter speed is gonna cause some issues, but it's at 6400. And this is the highest ISO that this phone will go in this uh, videography app. And right now, I believe this phone has been going 15 minutes without any warnings of overheating. All right, I think I spoke a little bit too soon about this phone overheating. Well, after 15 minutes, finally starting to get the warnings that this phone is overheating and some of the features will be shut off. And yes, the back of this phone is really hot to the touch. But this is good news. I was able to get past the one or two minute length that I had previously, which isn't too bad. I would say for most of my uh, videos, I just film it in short, you know, one to five minute segments. So my settings are back to manual. It's ISO 640, one over 48 shot. Wait, I forgot to turn on this main light. I just hope the phone didn't shut down. Let me check. All right, it's still going. I better wrap it up though. I hope everyone found uh, the information in this video useful. If you want me to do any more videos on the Sony Xperia Pro i, please leave it in the comments below. Right now I'm working on a bunch of uh, fitness tips for the new year 2023. And if I have some time, I'll try to make some more videos on this phone and on other content creator uh, topics. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. See you all later.